Well, Margo, looks like the following is a non-profit fan-made version of the original radio program, The Shadow. <laughs> That's right, Lamont. All sound effects have been found on YouTube and voices on Casting Call Club. Please, Please support, support the, the official, official release. release. <laughs> Who knows what evil lurks in the hearts of men? The shadow knows. <laughs> Once again, we present to you the thrilling adventures of the Shadow, the hard and relentless fight of one man against the forces of evil. These dramatizations are designed to demonstrate forcibly to old and young alike that crime does not pay. The Shadow, who aids the forces of law and order, is in reality Lamont Cranston, wealthy young man about town. Years ago in the Orient, Cranston learned a strange and mysterious secret. The hypnotic power to cloud men's minds so they cannot see him. Cranston's friend and companion, the lovely Margot Lane, is the only person who knows to whom the voice of the invisible shadow belongs. The season finale, the $10,000 fish. Darkness has fallen on the eastern coast and a cold rain sweeps in from the sea. Pale yellow lights twinkle across wet pavement as Lamont Cranston leaves police headquarters and dashes through the rain towards his parking lot. Suddenly, he is stopped by an ominous figure under a giant umbrella. Stand and deliver. Help! Help! Police! Murder! Get under this umbrella before I let you have it. Leave me to have what? A hit on the head. Miss Lane, you rule this rash act. I have influential friends in the sanitation department. Honestly, Lamont, you're so pig-headed. I told you it was going to rain. I told you to take an umbrella. And I told you I wouldn't carry no umbrella. That's for sissies. Us red-blooded he-men. Would all catch pneumonia and die if us faithful women didn't meet you with umbrellas. Where's your car? Right here. Get in. No, the other side. I'm driving. I want you to listen to a few well-chosen words. If you're going to nag me again, Margo... I am. I'd just as soon marry you. Don't weasel me with romance. I would have the privilege of punching you in the eye. I told you. You can't get out of this by talking lovey-dovey. Now, I had to take a cab and come all the way down here to meet you just because you're too stubborn... Mr. Cranston! What in the... Lamont! I'm in the back of the car. Don't turn around. Now look here, my friend. I told you, don't turn around. I, I think maybe we're followed. Don't let them see you talking to me. Just look straight ahead. You get out of this car, hitchhiker. What's your trouble, friend? My name's Hood. Simon Hood. Yes, main line Hood. Dinner thief, heavy gimster, two for counterfeiting, one for assault with intent, one for narcotics. A versatile fella. I'm in a percentage jam, Mr. Cranston. That's why I've been waiting for you. You always tell a guy straight. Go ahead, Hood. I've been playing it square the last year. It's strictly legit. I'm not doing so good. Uh, please, lady, uh, don't turn around. I just get a chance to pick up a big piece of loot, Mr. Cranston. Heavy racket? No. I get a hold of a salmon. A picture of a salmon worth 10 G's. Understand? No. If I cash it, they ask me why and I'm hung up. If I try to give it back, the guy that owns the picture cools me off. And if I don't get rid of it, I get cooled off anyway. See? Not quite. Uh, this fish picture. Slow down, lady! Don't you tell me how to drive. Are you comic? The tail is on. I just spotted the car behind us. I don't want to get Mr. Cranston into this jam. I need him. Slow down! Wait, Hood! You can't jump out! We... I want you to handle the salmon for me, Mr. Cranston. I'll give you all the rest later. Keep healthy! Is he alright? I can't see. The rain's so heavy. Wait. There he goes. Running across the street towards the corner. There's another car, Lamont. Behind us. Turning the corner toward him. Do you see it? Maybe... We'll return to the shadow in just a moment. Ladies and gentlemen, make sure you check out our Facebook page for updates on future episodes. And if you have any questions about the program or wish to help voice a character for a future episode, feel free to leave us a message and we will reply as soon as we can. Now, back to the shadow. Margot Lane and Lamont Cranston look down at the figure wet with rain and blood. All right, all right, hold it, hold it. Stand back, mister. It's all right, officer. My name is Cranston, Lamont Cranston, friend of Commissioner Weston's. Oh, yeah, sure. Mr. Cranston, I'm Drake, Officer Drake. The body on the ground belongs to Mainline Hood, all-around thief. He was murdered ten seconds ago. For the love of... 
I heard shots and Someone I... drove past them in the car and let them have it. Must have been that car that passed me down the street. Did you get the license number, Drake? No, ma'am. No reason to. Hood was shot through the back. Three slugs hit him. Death instantaneously. I'm checking his pockets, uh, looking for a fish. A fish? Now look, Mr. Krantz. I should say a picture of a fish. A salmon. Is he drunk, miss? Not yet. He has everything from his pockets. Handkerchief, two keys, cigarettes, wallet, not much money, cigar lighter, that's all. No salmon? No salmon. What the devil are you two talking about? What is this? A neat problem for the police mind, Drake. Simon Hood was murdered because he had a possession of a picture of a salmon worth $10,000. Whatever that means. No fish is worth that. A picture could be. I want that picture. I want the man who killed Hood. He was a good Joe, trying hard to stay legit. I want to know what tempted him. A picture of a salmon, he said. And I want that picture, which brings us all the way down to the beginning. According to Hood's identification card, he lives in Belton Avenue alongside the railroad yard. Maybe that picture's hanging on his wall. We'll go have a look. What about Hood? We'll leave Officer Drake in charge. Call the Commissioner, Drake. Tell him exactly what I told you. If he raises a fuss, tell him he can reach me at Hood's house, inspecting a knot collection. That's it, Lamont? Yep. Looks like someone's home. Lights in the window. It's a sad-looking shack, isn't it? Proving Hood was making a tough fight to stay legitimate. What could have allowed them? A picture of a fish? Fascinated by that, aren't you? Sure. Aren't you? Yes. Let's go in and look for it. Not you. Me. With this company at home, I think the shadow ought to make the call. It's still raining. Take the umbrella. I will not carry no umbrella. All right, stubborn guy. Someday, I'm going to give you a taste of your own medicine. Go ahead. Catch your death. Not my death. All I want to catch is a fish. One salmon coming up, I hope. I thought you... What the... Good evening. Where are you? Right here before you, Mr. Charles Farley. Isn't it? Your coat's wet, Mr. Farley. Get your hands off me, whoever you are. Don't touch me! <laughs> <laughs> this is the Shadow, Farley. The Shadow? I... I don't know you, I... But I know you, Farley. I know your record. So far it hasn't included murder, does it now? I don't know what you're talking about. Come inside. I'll tell you. When did you see Hood laugh? This morning, when I went to sleep. He was going to work. And you were going to sleep? I got a night job. I was just leaving for Then why is your coat wet? You were out before. So I was out. What about it? I bought cigarettes. Any tobacco stains on your fingers? Let go my hand. Or powder stains? Powder stains? Simon Hood was murdered an hour ago. Shot in the back. Three forty-five slugs in his heart. For the love of... Where's the picture? Wait a minute. I ain't caught my breath yet. What picture? The picture of the fish. The picture of the salmon. Where has he got it hanging? You ain't making sense. We got no pictures in this dump. A couple of pinups we cut out the papers. Look at them. Do they look like fish? Hardly. You said Hood was working. Yeah. Where? The Kelly packing plant in Limbrook. What kind of packing? Meat. It's a wholesale butcher's. And fish? What is this about fish? Word of advice, Farley. If you happen to find a picture of a salmon, you might find it's worth $10,000 and murder. How did we get to Lindbrook? Drive across the rail yard, then left on Atlantic Avenue. I don't get this case. No salmon in Hood's shack? Just pinups. Who would want to pay $10,000 for a salmon? Who would murder for it? It could be a valuable picture by a great painter. You think so? Name one. Well, let me see. Don't even try. There isn't any famous painting of a salmon by a famous painter. At least none worth 10000 I had it all figured. Hood stole the painting from somebody and couldn't sell it because it was too well known. Then why couldn't he return it? Why was he afraid of being killed if he returned it? Why was he afraid of being killed if he didn't? I don't know. Think of the art dealers and the art collectors we know. Would they likely to shoot Hood? They'd be more likely to scream at the sight of a gun. So that's out. Maybe Hood has the picture stashed somewhere in Kelly's plant. In his locker, or... Look out! Margo, you're driving right to the side of that freight car! Is that car behind us? Headlights shine into my eyes from the rearview mirror. Lamont, did you hear a gun? For the love of... Is the car behind us? 
five get your fifty. It's the same car that got hood. They followed us. Well, they're not going to give us the hood treatment. Hold on. Margo, for pity's sake. I'm going to lead them a chase through this railroad yard they'll never forget. You want to play hide and seek with trains? Work to our knees with engines. Lay off. You can kill yourself with pneumonia, but I draw the line at bullets. Margo! Be quiet. You're not the only stubborn guy in the house. Will you listen to me? Nope. You're headed up a dead end. We'll be trapped in a pocket. We've got a line of parked freight cars on the left, and uh, the train is coming on the right. If you don't stop now, we're finished. Not if we cut across the tracks. In front of the engine? It's our only chance. Then give me a hold of that wheel with you. We'll never make it alone. All set? Let's go. shadow in just a moment. Ladies and gentlemen, the summer is here. School is closed and the beaches are full. But remember to put on lots of sunscreen and always stay hydrated while outside in the sun. Now, back to the shadow. Behind them, a car of armed killers. In front of them, an onrushing train. Margot Lane and Lamont Cranston decided to take their chances with a train. Commissioner Watson, Lamont Cranston speaking. I'm at the freight yard office of a reading. I'm here because Margot and I almost got knocked off working on the hood case. Our car was wrecked, right outside in pieces and... What? What do you mean you never heard of the hood case? Yes, Simon Hood. He was murdered for a salmon. Well, go read the homicide report and find out. Send us one of your cars. We've got to hustle over to the packing plant and find a fish. <laughs> It says here in nights. Looks like they're working on night job. With meat prices what they are, why shouldn't they? Come on. It's still raining. Take an umbrella. Uh, Margot. Take the umbrella. Oh, got it. Let's go. Open it, you hound. Open that umbrella. Uh, I can't. You got busted when you wrecked the car. Oh, all the dirty low-down tricks. Here's the door. Get it. Let me see that umbrella. Good evening. Good evening, folks. Nice seeing you. Come about jobs, eh? Well, Mr. Kelly. Not Kelly. Burns. Boghouse Burns, they call me. Kelly's just the name of the plant. I run it. All my men speak well of me. Been with me for years. Brought some of them from the coast. You've heard all about Bughouse Burns, of course. Greatest salesman in the USA. Cars, radios, TV. And now me. Well, Bughouse Burns goes bankrupt slashing prices for you. Famous slogan. Come into my office. Now, wait a minute. You'll be happy here. It's a happy shop. Guarantee a bonus if you stay six weeks. Manpower shortage, you know. Start you off at 50. But Mr. Burns. All right, you get your raise. Make it 60. I can see you're the personnel I'm looking for. Bughouse Burns makes quick decisions. Fast trading, that's my famous slogan. Is he human? That was a nice limousine you drove up in, young lady. Still in the used car business, you know. I'll buy it. Bughouse Burns pays cash. Name your price and hand over the keys. Look, we don't want jobs, and this isn't my car. You got another? I'll buy it. Where is it? In the Hillside Crest Garage with a broken axle, a smashed wheel, and a $1,500 repair bill hung on the door handle. Lunatic Lane, they call me. Where's the picture? What? What picture? That used to hang over that desk. Why? It's gone. I never noticed. How did you know, Lamont? Use your eyes, Margo. You can see the light oval space on the wall where the picture hung. It was a picture of a fish, wasn't it, Burns? No, nothing of the kind. It was a portrait of a man. A small engraving. Came with the plant. A man? Oh, no. Picture of the founder. Kelly? No, no, political fella. One of Lincoln's cabinet members. Chase, I think. Salmon P. Chase. Salmon P. Chase! So that's the picture of the salmon. What is all of this? I'll give it to you fast. An employee of yours named Hood stole that picture. He was murdered because he stole the picture. He said it was worth $10,000. 10000 oh, 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 no. No. That little engraving couldn't have been worth a dollar. Must be some mistake. Who killed Hood? When we find the picture, we'll find out. I thought Hood might have it in his locker. Uh, mind if we search? You can search the whole plant if you like. Only trouble is, Hood didn't have a locker. He was off his crew. He... Bughouse Burns speaking. We go bankrupt, slashing pr- uh, What? Uh, wait a minute. 
Are you Lamont Cranston? Uh, yes. Practical Joker on the phone. Claims to be the police commissioner. Wants to talk to you. Thanks. Hello, commissioner. What is it? That was the commissioner? In person. Oh. Say that again? All right, back in a flash. You on hold. What's the matter? We gotta get back to headquarters. Simon Hood's murder was never reported to homicide. There's no Drake listed as an officer in the police rules. And I'm the biggest idiot in this side of the Mississippi. <laughs> Get into the car. But... The other side. I'm driving this time. Get in. All right. We've got to get moving. It's Lucky Weston. Lamont, stop the car. Why? We've... We've got a passenger. What? Ever since we found Mr. Hood in the back of the car, I keep looking. I just looked. What the... Light switch is on your side. <gasps> it's the policeman. Lamont, his face... Don't look. I'm going to climb back for a visit. Dad? Yes. He isn't a policeman. What? He's got a cop's rain coat and rain hat on. But he's just an ordinary guy underneath. Ordinary jacket and pants. Who do you suppose it is? It's Simon Hood. Hood? He did a job on his face, but not enough of a job. It's Hood, all right. We've got to get going, fast. To headquarters? No. That's what they'd like us to do. That's why the body was planted here. But we're going to drive to the Hillside Crest Garage, and we're not going to spare the horses. Looks like the garage is closed. That might be a good sign. Come on. What's in the garage? Our car. What's in the car? The picture of Salmon P. Chase. Hood must have stashed it there before he jumped out. Wait a minute. Here's the door. It's locked. I know a couple of tricks. Let me try them. Don't you see? The whole pattern of the case. That's why our car was followed. He must have known the Hood had the picture on him. When they didn't find it on his body, they knew he had left it in our car. We, uh, ah, come in. Do you have any idea where they put our car? No. Well, there are three floors. We'll have to search them. All right. But we're working against time. We'll have to split up. You take the elevator to the top floor and work down. I'll start here and work up. We'll meet in the middle, right? Right. <laughs> Are you quite sure that's the right car, Miss Lane? <gasps> We'd like you to be sure, Miss Lane. There are so many wrecked cars in this garage. Burns, you... Don't back away, Miss Lane. I'm right behind you, lady. What? <laughs> You're surrounded, Miss Lane. You're quite helpless. You can even scream if you like. These walls are three feet thick. Soundproof. Don't run, Miss Lane. There's no place to run to. What in the... Get her, Drake! Stop her! Got her! Get her hands off that horn! Let go of me! Let go! Let... You little wild cat! <laughs> We shall return to the Shadow Program in just a moment. Ladies and gentlemen, we would like to thank all of the voice actors and actresses who participated in making this recreation series happen. If it wasn't for you, this could never have happened. Now, back to the Shadow. In a garage late at night, Margot Lane finds herself at the mercy of two desperate killers. She tries to use an auto horn to signal for help, but... Get her hands off that horn! Let go of me! Let go! Let... You little wild cat! <laughs> In a traffic jam, Miss Lane? <gasps> Who's that? Good evening, Mr. Burns. This is the Shadow. Drake, get your gun out! I, I can't see him! <laughs> 
It's difficult to see the shadow, my friend. Practically impossible. Have you found the picture of Sam and Chase yet? <laughs> Hood probably left it in the back of Cranston's car. Did you look under the carpet? <laughs> under the seat cushion? <laughs> Rolled up in the ash receiver? But Hood wouldn't do that. It might have been burned. He wouldn't want $10,000 to burn to ashes. <laughs> Your conversation is becoming a little monotonous, gentlemen. Let's improve the occasion, shall we? May I borrow your gun, Mr. Drake? It's vital evidence in the murder of Simon Hood. I've got his body outside, in Cranston's car. I want the gun to go with it. Now, let's end this discussion. <coughs> and now, Mr. Burns. Listen, mister, I can't see you, but you can see me. You know me. Bughouse Burns, greatest salesman in the USA. I'm offering a deal. Take the 10000 no questions asked, you find it, you keep it, you forget you ever saw me, yes? <laughs> Drake's the killer, you got him. I'll turn evidence, make it an easy case for you. I'll never mention the money, you keep it. It's a deal, what do you say? Profit for you, profit for me, what's your answer? <gasps> That's your answer. <laughs> You know, it's a pretty simple case, Margo. When you know the answer we're looking for. Oh, simple, was it? Sure. Hood was tailed by Drake and Burns. They killed him. Drake put on a cop wing hood. Wayne had to make it easier to search the body. For the picture of Sam and P. Chase. Right. When he found us over the body, he found the picture was not it. Drake figured Hood left it in our car. So they chased us. They almost got us in the freight yard, but lost us when you nearly killed us in the wreck. Then the car was hauled away to a garage, and they had to find out which garage. Which is why Burns talked that nonsense about buying my car. Anyway, they took Hood's body and put it in the officer's raincoat and right hand and left it in our police car to delay us to keep us away from the garage. All this I understand. But they went to the garage to look for that picture of Simon P. Chase. Supposed to be worth $10,000. Why? Here it is. Look at it. Why? It's just a silly little engraving. Uh-huh. Now let's take it out of the frame. Holy smoke! It's a $10,000 bill! You see, Burns was doing a big black market business. And he had to figure out a clever way of hiding his uh, black market money. The Treasury Department had an embarrassing way of investing in safe deposit vaults. So, inside this picture frame, he placed the Simon P. Chase engraved portrait of it. The hood was an ex-counterfeiter. He knew money when he saw it. Even when he was a camouflage as a framed engraved that was only showed the portrait. That's why he stole. And that's why he was... <laughs> he was... <laughs> Give me that $10,000. Margo, it belongs to the police. It's a murder evidence. Then give me $10. What? <laughs> what for? You've caught a cold, wise guy. I'm going right out to buy you an umbrella and a pair of rubbers. <laughs> the weed of crime bears bitter fruit. For crime does not pay. The shadow knows. <laughs> <laughs>